what's up my chemistry people? Who is ready for a thriller of a free response? It's a short one. A sample of CH3CH2NH2, also known as ethylamine, is placed in an insulated container where it decomposes into ethene and ammonia according to the reaction represented above. Boom, part A. Using the data in the table below, calculate the value in kilojoules per mole of reaction of the standard enthalpy change delta H for the reaction at 298 Kelvin. Easy, but errors are commonly made. The first common error is failing to recognize that when you're working with bond energies, you're gonna use enthalpy change of the reactants, reactants minus enthalpy change of the products, which is opposite from when we're doing heats of formation and is opposite of how the formula appears on your formula chart. So as I look at my Lewis structures, and as I look at my data table, I've got one, two, three, four, five carbon hydrogen bonds in my reactants, or five moles of carbon hydrogen bonds. We're gonna add to that one mole of carbon nitrogen bonds. We're gonna add to that one mole of carbon carbon bonds, and add to that two moles of nitrogen hydrogen bonds. Whew. So that's all of my reactant bond enthalpies. I'm gonna subtract from that the sum of all my product bond enthalpies. I've got four carbon hydrogen bonds, one carbon carbon double bond, and three moles of nitrogen hydrogen bonds. All right, serious calculator time. Five times four thirteen eight plus parentheses, one times two ninety three close parentheses, eight plus new parentheses, one times three hundred forty eight. We've got 3,488 kilojoules per mole as the sum of all our reactant bond enthalpies. Back to the calculator. Four times 413 plus one times 614 plus three times 391 So the sum of all our product bond enthalpies, 3,439 kilojoules per mole. A quick subtraction, 3,488 minus 3,439, enter. Delta H for this reaction equals 49 kilojoules per mole. Boom, two points. Part B, based on your answer to part A, predict whether the temperature of the contents of the insulated container will increase, decrease, or remain the same as the reaction proceeds. Justify your prediction. All right, let's scroll back up to part A and realize that we just calculated the enthalpy change for the reaction to be a positive 49 kilojoules per mole, which indicates an endothermic reaction. The temperature of the contents should decrease because the reaction is endothermic as indicated by the positive delta H. The formation reaction of ethene is described below. Boom. Part C. Determine the value of the standard enthalpy change for the formation of ethene at 298 Kelvin using the following information. Recall that a formation reaction is going to be the formation of one mole of a compound from its elements in their standard state. Although not necessary to answer this question, important vocabulary to keep in the back of your mind. We're given a series of equations and their corresponding enthalpy changes at 298 Kelvin. I'm thinking Hess's law. First thing I need is some carbon on the reactant side. As I scan my equations, I notice here's carbon. It's on the reactant side. I'm just gonna rewrite that exact equation as it is. Boom. And the enthalpy change, double boom. Now I need two moles of carbon. So I'm gonna multiply this equation by a factor of two, including my enthalpy change. Next, I need some hydrogen. As I scan my equations, boom. Also on the reactant side, I'm just gonna rewrite that equation as is. Boom, enthalpy change, double boom. Again, notice I need two moles of hydrogen. So I'm gonna multiply everything in the equation by two, including my enthalpy change. Finally, I need some ethene. The only place I see that is in this combustion of ethene equation, first one given. It's given to me as a reactant, I need it as a product. So I'm gonna flip the equation, boom, and flip my enthalpy change. Positive 1,411.1 1 
kilojoules per mole. All right, now let's sum these equations together. Notice that my two moles of solid carbon is gonna come down without getting canceled out. However, two moles of oxygen on the reactant side in this equation, plus one mole of oxygen gas on the reactant side in this equation, and three moles of oxygen gas on the product side of this equation, means that no oxygen is gonna come down in my final overall reaction. Two moles of CO2, canceling with two moles of CO2 no CO2 coming through. Two moles H2O, adios two moles H2O. Oh, but my two moles of hydrogen gas is gonna come down without getting canceled out. On the product side, the only thing that hasn't gotten canceled out is my one mole of ethene gas. So I've recreated my formation equation of ethene Boom. To determine the enthalpy change for this reaction, I'm just gonna sum together all the enthalpies from the equations that I've manipulated above. Two times negative 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, plus new parentheses, two times negative 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, close parentheses, answer. Plus 1,111.1, answer. That gets me to 52.5 kilojoules per mole as the enthalpy change for this heat of formation reaction. Boom. And we are done.